God bless you again. What a privileged moment for you to join me as we begin to excavate divine truth in the text of scripture so that we will know all the concepts necessary for us to get rich loving God. I'm teaching this series uh, on how to get rich loving God because I really believe that this is the moment in time for us to excavate all the treasures of God in us to invest in the kingdom and to also finance the dreams of our destiny. It's about time that we know all the concepts and principles necessary for us to be able to generate streams of income so that we can finance all the expectations and the demands of our destiny and so today i want to take my text from proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 so get ready take your notebook and your pen but before i get started i wanted to just take a moment watch this ad advertisement i'll be right back so we can get started <music> Okay, let's get into the scriptures, right? Because I can't wait. I believe that we have so much to share today. Let's open our text to Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The Bible declares that the blessing of the Lord, it make a rich and he added no sorrow with it. The blessing of the Lord, it make a rich and he added no sorrow with it. So when we consider the text, we notice that God blesses you because he wants you to be rich. The blessing of the Lord produces an effect in your life called riches. Now, it is not God's responsibility to make you rich. He blesses you, he imparts that potential, but it is your responsibility to take that potential and do something with it so that you will make yourself rich. Now, please, many of us will pursue the riches, but we don't pursue God because we're thinking that if we can chase after money, that we'll be able to access the wealth we need to finance our dreams and pay our bills and take off uh, your responsibilities. But you have to understand, 
according to the concepts of God and the revelation of his scriptures, you have to pursue God. You have to have ample time for him because when you meet his expectation and his demands, he will bless you. And when he blesses you, you have received the empowerment necessary for you to prosper. And then what you do with that empowerment is up to you. Now, it is interesting because I want you to look at the text where it says, he added no sorrow with it. That means when God blesses you, he makes sure that he does not add sorrow to it. Now, so therefore, the blessing of the Lord, when it has been translated into riches, sorrow will not be added to it. And so if God wants to protect you from some sorrowful experiences, he, has, he blesses you and your translation of that potential of blessing into riches literally protects you from the attack of sorrow. What am I saying? There are many things that many believers we pray about that we desire of God. Many of us pray for uh, financial breakthroughs. 90% of our prayer requests have something to do with finances. And many people pray for their bills and pray for doors to be opened so that they can get a better job, so that they can get a good pay. Many people pursue ambition and do things. Why? Because they need the finances to be able to have the dream life they desire. But you have to understand that God is uh, has literally put us in the position to receive that potential for us to be rich. But many of us have not learned the strategies and the concepts that will translate the, the, the blessing of God to become riches for us. And so because of that, we find out that we are now open to the attack of sorrow. Many people love God, but they pray in sorrow. They fast, they go to church, but they can't pay their bills. There are many relationships and families struggling just because of they don't have what it takes for them to finance their dreams. Many people are not pursuing their calling and mandate and they are chasing after their ambition because they believe that for them to be responsible, take off their responsibility, they must do something outside of God. And because of these financial challenges, many have deviated from the cause of faith. God is saying, if you don't have the riches, then you are open to an attack of sorrow. He does not add sorrow to you, but you have to understand, although he doesn't add sorrow to you, the riches that comes into your life literally also protects you from the sorrow that the enemy might throw at you. Now, I want to use a scripture to back it up. So, let's go to the same Proverbs chapter 10, verse 15. The Bible says, the rich man's wealth, the rich man's wealth is a strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The rich man's wealth is a strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. So, if you are poor, then you should know that you are open to a whole lot of distraction. And so, and, and if you look at the text also, it says the rich man's wealth is a strong city. The habitation of the rich man has been impregnated. I mean, imp it's impregnable because he has the material wealth to literally fend off any attack of the wicked one. He can defend himself when there is an attack of shortage, when there is a deficiency. He has the means to be able to address it. But when you are poor, you become liable, you become subjected to such things as poverty, lack, and with the corresponding depression and frustration and anxiety, and you are going through a whole lot of handicaps and challenges. Why? Because you don't have the finances necessary to be able to meet the expectation of your responsibility. That is why the Bible says the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. God wants you to be rich because that is how he's also going to defend you from the attack of sorrow. Now, please, I know many of you are going to say, but pastor, we have, we have the ability to pray and we have the ability to just scatter the demons. I understand that. How many prayer warriors really pray for hours and they are so frustrated because they don't have the money to literally take off their responsibilities? How many pastors are very anointed? and yet still don't have the riches to be able to finance their dreams. 
and the call of God for their life. How many people are in our churches dedicated and committed to the things of God? And yes, they don't have the riches necessary for them to experience the joy of the Lord in their life. I believe in pursuing spiritual things. But we need to understand and we also learn the concepts of what to do to translate the blessing of God into practical riches that we are open to the attacks of sorrow. And God literally bless you so that the blessing will not become transcendental, a spiritual thing. He bless you so that it will become a practical, tangible riches that you can use to do the work of God. The blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. It added no sorrow to it. Today, I want you to understand, if you are going to become impregnable, you become def- uh, you build the defenses of your life so that the enemy cannot penetrate and cause havoc and cause depression, frustration, anxiety, so that you will not be attacked by things of sorrow, then I advise you, learn the concepts and principles that will literally empower you to translate the, uh, the blessing of God to can become riches in your lives so that your life will become a strong city of the rich man. God bless you. Uh, and until next time, this is Pastor Matthew speaking on Spirit Printer. Before you sign off, I just want you to just take a moment and sign and uh, join Spirit Printer and join this series of webinars that I'm teaching because I want to train and equip you on how to be rich, loving God, learning the concepts and strategies that will literally translate all the blessings of God in your life into practical, tangible, pragmatic steps that will literally bring you into a place of wealth. I want you to be able to utilize the concepts of God to bring light to the treasures of God that He's invested in you so that we can ex- excavate those treasures and help you to utilize your talents and giftings to generate streams of income for your life. It's about time that you don't just talk about the blessings of God. That is why I advise you that it's time for you to be able to uh, learn all the systems that I'm about to teach you so that you can be able to start your own business or turn your talents to income and learn the concepts that is necessary for you to create wealth wherever you are. That's why I want you to join Spreadprinter so you can be receiving videos, articles, and, and a whole lot of teachings, webinars, and teleconferences that will transform your life for the better. God bless you by joining this, uh, this generation of entrepreneurs, spirit-filled entrepreneurs that are going to revolutionize the whole world. I know you are a candidate. That's why you're watching this video. So join right now by pressing the button where you're watching the video. And I believe your life will not be the same again. God bless you. Bye-bye.